Hello, welcome back again to my channel Mr. Foster Di video kali ini saya akan membagikan Sports vocabulary hasil kreasi dari anak-anak kelas 11 Let's check it out Hi everyone Hi, my name is Jocelyn And I am from 11 Miss Wine And today I'm going to discuss about five sport So, what are we waiting for? Let's just jump into it Alright, prepare yourself because the first one is swimming So swimming, mm, my favorite sport So swimming is an individual or team sport that use all the body movements in the water um, I'm going to show you some techniques you might have heard So these are butterflies, freestyles, and of course the frog style I don't know why you call frogs, it sounds so a funny one Okay, so if you ask me, sis, what do I need to prepare? Okay, you need to prepare your swimsuit, your goggles, and your bathing caps, and all the things you want to add. And of course, if you ask me, where can I do this part? Yes, of course, you can do this part in the swimming pool. Okay, for the second one, here comes your favorite sport, boys, basketball. Basketball is a sport that use a team so each team have five members and basically they just have to shoot their balls into the enemy's hoop and then they win a point okay let me ask you what do you need to prepare for this sport yeah you need a ball and a hoop and place for you to play it yeah you can play in the park school grounds and basketball court the third one comes to badminton if you ask me why just now or what is the reason no i don't know why okay so badminton is a sport using a racket so basically you just hit the shuttlecock across the net and then you win a point there are some equipments you might or you have to prepare before you do this part is you need a racket shuttlecock or we can call it a bird and also a net and the place for you to play it you can play in the badminton court Enjoy. Okay, this is the fourth one and it's like one way before we finish it. Okay, so the fourth one I prepare you tennis. Um, I'm not going to discuss what is tennis because tennis is basically almost the same as badminton but it has different things like the rackets and the ball is kind of different. Maybe it's different, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, what do you need to prepare? For this part is you need a tennis ball, tennis racket, and a net. And where can I play this part? Yeah, you can play it in the tennis court. Easy, right? Easy. Okay, now it's the final one, the fifth one, the skateboard. So, uh, a little bit story. When I was small, I can play skateboard, but now I couldn't. Sad. Okay. Uh, yeah. Forget about that. Uh, so skateboard is a sport that involves riding and performing tricks using skateboard move on to the equipment um sis what do i need to prepare okay you need a skateboard and a skate shoes and if you are a beginner i suggest you to wear a knee pad elbow pad and of course a helmet safety always comes first children sis where can i play it i really want to play it yeah you can play it in the skate parks so always remember if you are a beginner safety comforts okay so we are in the end now okay so it's really in the end now what i'm going to say i'm going to so i want to say thank you for the attention and i want to say sorry if i say something wrong or there is some wrong definition about this part i'm really sorry about it so i hope i can do better in the future so thank you i love you Hi guys, I'm Valentina and I'm from 11 Miss One. So today I'm going to tell you about five sports and the equipment that we need it and the place where it is there. So, yeah. so the first one is surfing. Surfing is classified by extreme sport. The equipment that we need it are board, press guard, and lead. The place where it's done is in the beach. The second one is swimming. For swimming, the, the equipment that we needed are batting caps, swimsuits, and goggles. The place where it's done is in the pool. The third one is mountain biking. 
mountain biking was part by extreme sports. The equipment that we needed are mountain bike, eye protection, mountain bike helmet, mountain bike shoes, and the hydration pack. The place where it's done is in the mountain. The fourth, we have basketball. The equipment that we needed are basketball, basketball hoops, basketball apparel, and basketball shoes. The place where it's done is in the basketball court. So for the last one, we have paragliding. The equipment that we needed are parachutes, harness, helmet, parameter, and GPS. The place where it's then is in the air. That's all about my presentation. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Hello, I'm Evelyn. It's nice to meet you. So today I'm going to tell you guys about fun kind of general sport that you have ever heard about them before. The first part is swimming. Swimming is the sport that can relax your mind and makes your body healthier. But remember, we shouldn't do swimming after eating. We will probably get vomit. So what is the equipment that we need in swimming? The equipment that we need is swimsuits, goggles, and swim caps. If you ask me where we can do swimming, of course in the swimming pool. The second sport is basketball. These sports need a good teamwork. All you need to prepare are basketball, basketball hoops, and knee pads. People usually do this sport at field. The third sport is archery. So in this sport, I think this sport trains us to be more focused to an object. Some of the preparation is arrow, arm guards, bows, bow strings, chest guard, shooting glove, quiver, knock, sight, and target in archery. If you're interested in trying in this sport, you can find it in some backyards or a special place for archer. The fourth sport is biking. As I know, this sport has become the most popular sport in Indonesia. Have you ever heard about Gawas? Yes, it's a group of people that do biking. For biking, I think the important equipment are bike and helmet. The fun thing in biking is we can set our own destination. The last part is badminton. We can play badminton by 1 versus 1 or 2 versus 2. But before that, we need to prepare badminton racket, shuttlecock, and net. Some people do this part in the casual outdoor like yard or beach. But for the formal games, we do it in the indoor court. So that's all my explanation. Thank you for watching. Hi everyone! So, before I start the topic for today, allow me to introduce myself first. My name is Clara and I'm 16 years old. So, let's get started! Okay, today I'm going to talk about sport and I will tell you 5 about my favorite sport. Number 1. Badminton. Equipment needed when you want to play badminton is badminton racket, shuttlecock, net, badminton shoes, and badminton attire. Please race done. You can play on yard or a single indoor court for formal games. Number two, tennis. Equipment needed when you want to play tennis is tennis racket, tennis ball, net, shoes, and dress code are mandatory for the sport. Place where it's done, you can play on indoor or outdoor court for tennis games. Number 3. Basketball Equipment needed when you want to play basketball is, of course, the ball, basket ring, shoes, and also dress code and mandatory for the sport. Um, place where it's done, you can play on basketball court. Number 4. Swimming Equipment needed when you want to try swim, you need to have keyboard, swim shoot, goggles, batting cap, etc. Place where it's done, you can try on swimming pool. 
And the last one is volleyball. Equipment needed when you want to play volleyball is solid ball, net, shoes, dress code and mandatory for the sport, ATC. Play sports then, you can play all indoor or outdoor court for these games. Okay, that's all the video for today. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. I'm Clara and have a nice day. My name is Riposa and I'm from 11 Social One. I'm gonna tell you about six sports that I'm interested in. The first one is basketball. You can play basketball in both indoor or outdoor field. For former matches, they usually use indoor field, but in many schools, they use outdoor field for students to do sports activities. The equipment they are required, you need basketball and the uniform. The second is boxing. You can do boxing on boxing ring or boxing arena. The equipment that are required, you need boxing gloves, head guard, and mouth guard to protect your body. The third is football. You can play football on football field. And the equipment that are required, you need ball, the uniform to make a match with your team, sock, and shoes. And if you are being a goalkeeper, you need the football gloves too. The fourth is baseball. You can play baseball on baseball field. And the equipment that are required, you need the ball, uniform, baseball cap, bat, and baseball gloves. The fifth is serving. You can serve on the beach. And the equipment they are required, you need surfboard, fins, flats, wax, and wet sweat. The sixth is swimming. You can swim on swimming pool. And the equipment they are required, you need swim suit, googles, and cap. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you for your attention.